mm. but I don't think it's moral. No problem, no problem. Okay, so they have the right to do it, but you say, from your personal opinion, you believe it's immoral. Just like in Islam, there's th th there's things that the Quran says that are moral that I would think are immoral. To kind of um, contemplate on what the meaning of the book is in my life, the way I understand it, and the way that people around me interact with one another, and what what this idea that I'm, I'm learning right now, how would that be kind of put into action? So the same way as I was saying, those hundreds of thousands within the Levant who have a period of four, three hundred years gradually converted gradually converted whereby that region was majority Muslim yeah. they used the same reasoning you just talked about knowing that under an Islamic state there is the possibility of them if they were to change their mind yes, but they can of, find of, of, of the apostasy laws maybe being enacted on them possibly not in all cases yeah. the, the apostasy laws I'll be honest are not always enacted but what I want to know from you is that do we use democracy do we use liberalism do we use communism do we use maoism do what do we use to determine how society should rule themselves and then and then you know to progress from a legalistic standpoint so don't you think that what's your question and then I'll not constantly my path can change I can learn and correct myself so, but it doesn't so change no, because I said there needs to be a study. Of course you have. Of course you grow. Of course you grow to have an objective standard. Of course you do, because there are books, ideas, philosophies that you believe in from day one, and that is your objective standard. I think this is where so this is the thing. In order to become a Muslim and in order to convert and things like that, they haven't just converted and said, okay, this is an understanding. What it is is they first came to an understanding is God does God exist. It's the nature of God truth. The evidence of the Quran is that of God. It's the prophet the prophet. And once this is clear, yeah. I'll tell you what, I think that in itself is wrong. I think that the reason why one should believe in, uh, in any religion is not because of a god or a higher power. If I were to submit myself to any religion, it would be because of its moral superiority. Not because I would want to submit myself to one higher okay. power and everything that that higher power stands for. That's kind of, the thing is, if it's from God, then it has, in fact, it has my support. But that, that is where you and I kind of separate because I I do not believe that there is see I'm agnostic as I mentioned earlier so I believe that there is some sort of higher power but I don't believe that there is one specific God that I know of and I will follow so for me I believe my objective morality comes from my creator yes okay my creators created me yes like whoever many it's an old adage, probably heard of it, I don't know. But whoever manufactures something, gives it a manual. Do not immerse in water. Do not leave under sunlight. Do not put it in temperature fluctuations of minus 10 or anything over 38 degrees is, Celsius. Is, whatever. Yeah. It's not, not, not whatever you knew. I mean, whatever I would say. Like, whatever the parameters are. Yeah. There are parameters. So, so with God, as a Muslim, with God creating us and Him being all knowing, understands what basically, very simply, what is good for us or what is bad for us. Now, 
there could be God, there may be things whereby we want to understand the wisdom and the reasoning behind it there could be that situation or there could be times where I can argue it and as you said the analogy I use the sweet shop you may agree with me and say oh, I could do with some of that yes do you know what I mean yeah right Since but, but fundamentally we believe as a Muslim this is this is objective this is a, yeah intrinsically objective intrinsically objective okay so within any any system in this earth existing or maybe in the past where would you sit Cleo where in terms of the social contract where would you sign on to to the social contract to say this system I'm in, I'm in agreement with where would you do you want to put yourself into a the, democratic state a democratic state okay what, a democratic what kind state, definitely what so kind so a democratic state which uh, advocates for free speech mm -hmm. for free markets mm -hmm. for morality for rigid familial structures mm -hmm. like in Islam mm -hmm. I think that's a good kind of structure okay so within a a, a conservative one definitely conservative okay okay so w w do we with, with, with us of liberalism aspects of liberalism okay so how do we in terms of the um, 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 the moral aspect where's Bob I'm, I'm just thinking out loud so if you're talking about democracy and then a moral aspect to do with society there are times when that democracy there's a decision process to decide obviously what is moral moralistic and what is not and maybe even legislate against what is moralistic and, and what, what, what is immoral i guess they would use democracy and um, maybe a parliament par par parliamentary democracy yes okay so, so it's good, it's good. let's go back to when you said that everything comes with a manual uh, and that this is the manual for Islam. The manual for democracy is the manuals of Socrates, Plato and Aristotle. Interesting. The Republic, for the Republic, example, yeah. is the perfect manual for democracy. Yeah. And what that outlines is that the power... So this is a very different kind of idea to follow to religion because that dictates that the power is within the people. The people. So they are the so ones. The power of what was I saying again? The power of the people for the people. Or something the, so. Yes, exactly. The, the power for the pe of the people, people for the people. For the people. Okay. Exactly. Um, and that what di what that dictates is that the people choose. Choose. So the people will choose what their morals. Will be. All right, I got I got a thought experiment for you. Okay. Yes. I want. Let me just a thought experiment. I want to be the ruler of this system that... There is no ruler. Oh, no. In a democratic state, there is no ruler. Oh, so you're, you're harking back to... In a democratic state, there is no ruler. Are you talking ruler. about to Aristotle and, and... I'm not talking about ancient Greece in specific. Okay, sorry. I'm, any sorry. democratic state... There is always there a leader. Is no ruler. Sorry. There President, a, Prime no, Minister, there is a elected. Representative. representative. I was just trying to find the word. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Sorry. A representative. That's, I, that's I want important. Because so, that's what separates I, democracy from autocracy like and tyranny. No problem. I agree. Yeah. I agree from that perspective what you're saying. Representative is more an appropriate more of an appropriate term to use. Yeah. I want to be the representative of that particular society. Okay. So to enlist democracy as I understand how it works today, I'll be very quick, is that I will produce so we have the Quran the English, the translation of the Quran in English. I will have something else. I will have a manifesto mm -hmm. and within the manifesto I would place everything I envisage to enact if you elect me as your representative yes in here is is a better health system mm -hmm. is uh, looking after our elderly better looking after yes, our yes, children yes. better and all that stuff I um, understand where you're getting to more traffic lights too many car accidents yes. more traffic lights more police on the ground what you're getting to okay so you're forming all these different laws manifestos but i have a particular law to be and please excuse me to be so crude i have a law whereby two sane consenting adults can choose to do things well, where two consenting sane adults under supervision of psychiatrists, medical professionals and representatives of the law namely a judge, a magistrate yes. where it's agreed upon that one consenting adult gives the other 
adult under the supervision to do things to that adult once they pass away and physically die where they can gain ownership of their body the deceased's body to do whatever they want to do with it yes. they could pet it they could put it on a chair yeah, or they yeah, can do yeah. other things with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah other fetishes. And this is in my manifesto. Yes. And I propagate it. And the majority say, yes, we, we want you, we choose you to be our representative. And by default, to enact my entire manifesto, including that. Including that. More traffic lights, more police, yeah, more yeah, money yeah. in the NHS. And then that rule. That and then that, that rule. Uh, okay. And then when I enter, when I enter, it's passed. Legislation is passed. Mm -hmm. So, using your paradigm, your mechanism, this is now allowed. Yes. Do you, do you have any objections, objections to it? I'll tell you what. I'm not saying that this is ideal and utopic. I never said that. But I did say that this is... Uh, what you asked is for a framework that fits best what my yeah. world would yeah. be in. Uh, my, well, my kind of yes. what world I would want to, yes. social contract I would like to yes. do. So is it acceptable? And it would be that. And I think that that is better than any other social okay, So let me ask you two questions. Do you believe that that particular piece of legislation is morally okay? It's not. Okay. Do you believe that even though you disagree with it morally, the person, through the mechanism it, it's now been enacted, do you believe that they have the right to partake in that action? They have the right to do that. To partake in that action. Because the social contract allows them to do so. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's moral. No problem. No problem. Okay. So they have the right to do it. <laughs> But you say, from your personal opinion, you believe it's immoral. Just like in Islam, there's th th there's things that the so Quran says that are this, moral this that I would think are immoral as well. That's my point. Yeah. So, okay. so, so, I, I saw you so, were coming to this. so, what I'm trying to get at is that, with all due respect, yes. someone can point the finger at me and talk about apostasy laws. And to use something out of the Bible for argument's sake, you say, you've got you've got a twig in your eye. You got a twig in my eye, yeah? Mm -hmm. I believe with what you've just said, even though you've said morally you disagree with it. But using the system which you think is best, they have the right to do so. I believe these certain people have an Amazon in their eye. But what you're doing now is you're, you're okay, I'll let you finish. So I think grotesque things can happen. I think more grotesque than apostasy laws, whereby someone will say, do you know what? It could even get worse. That second person could be of a younger age, but because the parents have authority under the rule of law under that younger person, if that younger person was to die, the parents could give John Smith the legal right to do whatever they want with their dead child's body. Yes, yes. Because that premise that we're using is open to be used and interpreted to do many things, many grotesque things. So I think from a moralistic standpoint, your ideology and your methodology is immoral. Because okay. that particular aspect opens the door to the Holocaust, to what Stalin did, killing 20 million of his citizens. Let me to, wait, to, cha to, cha to, to what Chairman, Chairman Mao did. To what the, the Cambodian massacres did on the, in Cambodia. The yeah. Khmer Rouge. It's, and, uh, it's, it, it's, it's, it, it's, it, it's massive. We can agree. We can agree that everything you just mentioned is completely immoral and false in history. But that doesn't prove that democracy is, uh, a, you know, a lesser social contract than Islam is. And I'll tell you why. Yes, as you correctly outlined, there are aspects of democracy which are, of a democratic state, like which would pass laws which I would not want to adhere to, which I would not want to follow, as there are in Islam. But I have the choice to not partake in that. Whereas in Islam, you don't. I do have the choice in a democracy to say, you know what, I choose not to do that. There is a law that, that says that you, you have to do that. But in democracy, you can you can say, I, I choose not to. But, but the thing is this. Whereas in Islam, you can't. But the difference you is this. You have the fear of a knife 
you're but, coming down okay, your neck. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, I've kept, sorry, I apologize. It's just one person on the I can see you're going, kind of going back. Can you come here? Because you're not on the mic. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah. Of come through. Sorry. Stand where I'm standing. There, there you are. Okay. Um, you've been going back and forth on this. So, one, one, oh, one really, I'm in the middle. Sorry. Yeah. One Clear. Question I just want to ask. I get like um, what you're saying in terms of democracy and you believe that is a much better system. But um, as you've shown, there is a weakness in that. Right? There is a weakness in every system, though. Yeah. That's why I don't believe in any system. Okay. But with, but with all due respect, so John is not going to sleep with Sarah's child's dead body. I think one thing. Whilst, I think whilst whilst under your premise, you're, that will happen. There is no democracy and, that and, passes laws. And such as and the Holocaust can be legislated. But there is the, no the Rwanda genocide can be legislated because what you're saying the Holocaust. is. Holocaust, let's take let, that let, as an let, example. Let, was the Holocaust an example of democracy? It was absolutely not. I agree. That was autocracy. I that agree. I'm going to leave the conversation. No, no. I just want to ask one question. I'm going to leave the question to you. In society, if the representative who wants to be. They elect themselves as a potential representative. Yes. Okay. Uses that system. Because you didn't put enough, I believe you didn't put enough confinement. Remember we were talking about confinement, that the Quran is too narrow. Your system lacks that narrowness. No. Let me finish. So, let, me, let, me, let me finish. Lacks that freedom. So much so that necrophilia can take place and all sorts can take place. Because as long as... Is there the, any let democratic let me, state let me finish, which allows for But well, that's what I meant. You left too much freedom. There was a lack of narrowness. No, there, is there was a there are laws in life. Yeah, like, go ahead. I, I agree. I agree. But using your premise, with such lack of narrowness and confinement, because you got a, you said that the Quran is too narrow. Because you went the complete in your eyes, the complete opposite and said all freedom, yet no confines, leads to necrophilia. Because it does, because if society chooses at any given point in time what is good with no confines, with no confines, then everything's open. How can you say that there's no confines when law is confines? Why are there thousands and hundreds of laws about necrophilia, about how, about, for example, but that's just a different time, policies, right? I agree. what has to happen to a body after death? How can one be cremated? How can one be buried? Clear. We have these laws because we deem them to be, for whatever reason, immoral, not right. Yes. But if, what I'm saying is, using your analogy, if society Changes. changed its mind and so fluctuated, wait, wait, and fluctuated right. whereby the system was used, your system was used, it can then be enacted as law and by default as moral. If the morality of society changes, then that's reflected in the laws, and then the laws will change, and therefore it's no longer immoral, it's no longer a taboo. So when you said, are oh, you as a Muslim, would you respect you're confined by the Quran, you think you're not confined, but in reality you are confined. What you're confined to is what society at any given point in time deems to be moral or immoral. Therefore, necrophilia can be looked upon as being moral. That is not it. Because right, I'm going to go. I'm, Let's, yeah, I'm just going to ask one question. Let, me, let me just respond to that. Let yeah. me just respond before, okay. before I need you to go. leave. Oh, you need one to go. last response. So, when you asked me about my kind of social contract, one of the words I used was conservative. And what that means is that conservative means conserving old values. Yes. And that means that you cannot sway, just like what you kind of implied just yes. now, that morality can sway at any moment, going back and forth between, you know, this being okay and then changing the law and then changing the law again. If this democracy is a conservative democracy, like what I explained, morals and laws cannot change as easily as that. Morals and laws have to be debated. They have to be okay. contested. But they can't this be is changed, what happens right? At, this is what happens at the, the higher courts. But what's the foundation? You, you're saying conservatism. Conservative values. Conservative. Oh, there are certain values. Judaic 
Christian Judaism? Well, what? well, well. He, the he conservative knew... system is based on a Christian system. Most most conservatives tend to be Christian, so the, they adhere to certain Christian values. But I would not fully, you know, subscribe to Christ, to any kind of sect of Christianity. But okay. I would say that those conservative values are useful in a democratic state. As an agnostic. As an agnostic. So me as a Muslim, can I use my Quran as, as a conservative anchor in my democratic state? As you use the Christian? No. Why? Because because the elements, Quran elements. because the Quran is too um it's not open to it's not I didn't say it's not open so to you either take it all or leave it. Exactly. Whilst with Christianity you can lock a switch up, pick and choose. No. What Christianity then? you cannot pick and choose. But Christianity has ingrained itself in political systems in a way that Islam has it. I'll tell you why. Is, yes. Great. Yes. I agree with you, and I'll tell you why. Generally, generally. Jim, yeah. This is generalist term, okay? Or point. I believe why today within the West, one of the re one of the reasons why we, we, we've arrived at this point is this: with the schism within Christianity, meaning between the Catholics and the Protestants, and all the people burned at the stake, and Galileo being killed because he said the world was round and not flat, and and then and then all, and then and then a third of Germany's population dying through the wars between Catholics and Protestants and all of these isms and schisms and death and killings. Yes. Okay, Europe came to the point whereby they decided that, you know, generally speaking, we need to put the Christianity on the shelf. And we're going to use the Renaissance and the Enlightenment and everything that came out of that to form... Let me, it's to, not let me finish. Shelf. Let me finish. Yeah. To form a shelf in a window and I'm going to take what I believe is correct and I can use. That's uh, not finish, how it is always. Finish, that finish. is... A watered down version. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to formulate this system. We're going to look, as you said, Aristotle and others. We're going to look at the ancient Greeks and use a form of democracy. Not their form, because women couldn't partake in democracy, nor could slaves. And they took women, the suffragettes. Yeah, yeah. And the suffragettes here, up until what, 100 years ago. They could, and then even it wasn't all of them, it was just some women. So there was a gradual emancipation. No problem. Okay. And you could say that emancipation was tied to the first and then the second world war. Then women were, had to, by necessity, enter the workforce and, ed, and enter education, which then emancipated them. But not so by this, necessity, that is something that they fought for. I'm, I'm digressing, I'm, I'm digressing. But yeah. well, what I'm saying is, so they thought that we need to put Christianity, in terms of it ruling us, to the side, lean on it, lean on it, but not use it as our as our foundation. We're gonna use it as our total foundation. No, we're gonna lean on it and then what we're gonna do, we can do certain things. We can either do as the French did and go total totally crazy secular where the guillotine was used so much it was red hot. Like literally red hot yeah. it was used so much to maybe how the Brits did it. Whereby people need to push your country and we have bishops in the House of Lords, which is in Trayvon, yes, okay? But, and then we have the head of state, who's the head of the English church. Um, but then we, we, we discuss and see, you know, what is good for us at any point okay. of time. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that there was so much bloodshed in Europe that they felt to negate or lessen the bloodshed, we have to put a Christi Christianity almost to the side because it nearly destroyed us from a third of the population in Germany and the other massacres that were held between the Catholics and and the Protestants. That led to the system of government we have today. The question is from an Islamic paradigm, from an Islamic paradigm, look at the, the, Mus the Muslim majority land, let's contrast that. That did not happen. You can argue that the reason why we have democracies or secular states like in Turkey is either out of the First World War or out of colonialism. It was it wasn't out of Muslim fighting Muslim that we're killing each other so much that we need to put the Quran to the side, push and choose, fundamentally to the side, and use and use other systems. Democracy came long before. I know. I'm not arguing. What, what I'm saying is. Can I remind you that I'm not here to support and to make an argument for Christianity. I am a Muslim, but I will not hate Christianity either. I can't say 
that it's been put on the shelf and it's been disregarded. There are countries that are that strongly hold Christian morals, yes. and there are Christian social contracts, yes. Christian communities that uphold Christianity yes. just in the same way that Islamic states do with Islam. Uh, no, no, they do. No. No, they That's don't fanciful. implement it to this. To this they do, but no, they don't. Sorry, but they not, don't. not the big Western countries. Did you give me? Did you give me a country? Did you that give me a country? Hungary, a lot of Slovenia, a lot of the Orthodox, Slovakia, a lot of the Eastern European. Okay, so Greece, Ro Romania. So I, I'm not going to go into detail Bulgaria. now. Bulgaria. I'm not going to go into detail. But in they respect, do. A lot of them, they do have certain aspects. I, I agree with you. And I understand your, your aspect of conservatism and where you're coming from. Yeah. I appreciate it. So what I'm saying is... The system, generally speaking, being used today in Europe, and the reason why they're being used is because of the amount of bloodshed that was caused through the Reformation. That, that in a major part, played the reason, played the part into why we have the systems of government we have today in Europe. No problem. Some say, Don't you think that that some, is a good thing? some say, no, no abortion. Don't you think that that or with, is a good thing? Or with abortion. Why, are you, you why are you here not living in an Islamic state? I was born here. Social contract. So why would you rather be there? If you in where? In any Islamic state. Maybe one. Uh, the United Arab Emirates. Saudi Arabia. What did the Emirates do? What did the Emirates why, why as a Muslim should I live in the Emirates? Because that is an Islamic state. That is, is where it? you mostly... You, you can perfectly fit in in terms of the. I perfectly fit in here. It's not an assumption. You don't agree to there's, there's something you don't understand. Now. You could be a Muslim anywhere. But, but you don't agree with the social you can, contract, do you? I can see it next to a communist British person. We all can, yes. A British person who operates within the system, who might not agree with many things that are going on, who are perfectly British. But at the same time, they don't undermine the system. Like uh, like a fifth um, like a fifth uh, a fifth color, where they like like they wanna like uh, almost almost like the first of January in when Trump lost the election. Yes, yes, of course. Something like that. No, no, you you can be within a system whereby you can abide by your religious values and and get along fine. So remember what remember what I said initially. We're gonna have a Let me remind you what I said. Let me remind you of what I said. So you have been condemning for our conversation. You have been condemning the kind of the formation of the democratic state coming out of the reformation and out of kind of the putting your Christianity on the shelf and this whole argument that you created. You've condemned that, but you've still ch chosen to live by it. Because regardless of the fact that you are a Muslim, you still choose to live in this country and follow the rules of this country and live in it, rather than going back to an Islamic country and properly paying your paying. Do you, don't you have to pay your your tax? What is the tax? Okay. Do you have to pay that here? Yes. No. Do you pay that here? We pay it here. We can pay in many things. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm talking let about me, a lot of things, but instead of let me. Only let me iron this out. Yeah. It was a comment that you made which led me then to answer, to, to to describe why the West is using the system that it is. Yes. Right. So that's why I went into it. Okay. You said that many countries still use Christian values. Of course. Some do, but I believe it's watered down to what it was before. And the reason why it was watered down to what it was to that the reason why it was watered down to the amount it was before, because you tried you, the equivocation you, you knew was Islam in the Muslim land, very um, quite proof. Islam in the Muslim land and Christian Christianity in the Christian land, and how they were somewhat. Let me correct you. Somewhat very quick. synonymous. Let me correct you very quick. Oh, they, they were, I, I don't like this assumption that Christianity has completely, you know, watered down in the West because we can say that because. Muslim states are much more visible, in a sense. Muslim states are much more visible because they are whole countries. But Christian confines still exist. There are certain regions within countries. Take Vatican City. Take, do you know about Mount Athos? So there's a region in northern Greece, which is a 
which is uh, driven by religious law. It has no no autonomy. Re yeah, religious autonomy, like it's auto autonomous to the Greek state, and it is just men. No women are allowed to enter this region, and they're only strictly Greek Orthodox monks living in that confine, waking up, praying multiple times a day. Okay. Of course that's okay. okay. So if I were to have an Islamic enclave in Essex, is that all right? That is all right, but you have to be following the laws of the country. But they're not. They're not. But they're discriminating against women. They're not following the law. But they're calling the law. They've been there before the Hellenic Republic. Was it doesn't matter. They've. It, it does. It's, it's the modern of state of Turkey founded in 1918 or whenever it was after the First World War. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. They were There's there. The Constitution in Greece. They so, were there no, no, see, before, the is, the, before the Hellenic Republic Cleo. was founded, and therefore they have a right to that land. Cleo. They have a right to live the way no they problem. do in that no, land. No problem. Cleo, the thing is this. You're very partial and exceptional when it comes to Christianity. Okay? When I do the same thing with Islam, you're like, no. I don't say it doesn't work. I don't disagree with you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use another hypothetical. Have, have there been public entries in the UK? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use another hypothetical. The thing is this: Greece is a modern nation state. It is. Okay. They have a constitution and they have laws. Yes, they do. Okay. I'm pretty. I'm fairly 99.999 percent laws are equality between the sexes. They are. I'm sure. But as you said, they've given. A, a, um, a situation where they've allowed these particular peoples in this particular mountain the months in the, the month, thank you, thank you to have laws which differ from the nation state of Turkey and their constitution this has nothing to do with Turkey let's exclude uh, Turkey please, please, let me see I know the picture between the That is very dangerous. <laughs> know, let's not go there. He just but called Greece Turkey. Turkey. I know, I know. Once upon a time was Turkey. But, 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 but no, it was an Ottoman war. I know, I know. It was Ottoman war. But what I'm saying is this. Hypothetically, if there was the same situation in England, if it if that came with England, if that was there, if if using your paradigm, I want to be your representative. Here's my manifesto. We're going to have an election. By the way, I want these Muslims. To have an autonomous region in Romford, Essex. Is that okay? And it's, it's voted in and agreed upon by the majority of the population using what your paradigm? This, what does this mean then? What does this exactly mean? Exactly, exactly the same as those Greek monks in that mountain. No, because they exactly the same. They don't have the, the, the lineage. Be consistent. They don't have the but lineage. But be consistent. I am. You're not. I'm being consistent because what we're talking about in You're Mount not Athos, being consistent. What we're talking about in Mount Athos is that they have the lineage claim to the land. They have lineage. Were they always there? Yes, they were. Since when? I, I, I'm not certain, to be honest. But they Definitely not before there. Christ. No, I, I... No. So there was a point, there was a point where they were not there, and then they were there. But who, did anyone okay. else have claim to that Okay, land? okay. Does anyone else have claim to that land? What I'm saying is there was a point, they were not there, and there were mechanisms involved when then they were, became there. That point, okay, but now, that point where they were Chloe, not there... Chloe, Chloe. Cleo. Cleo. Maybe sorry. no one had claim to that. Cleo. Land. Cleo. Using your own predefined parameters and your own mechanism. If I, as a representative, said, hey, I want to represent you, here's my manifesto, as yes, said yes, before, and within you. that, as, as with that mountain in terms of the monks, once upon a time they were not there, and then through certain conditions they became there. Same situation. They are not there in Rumford, Essex, but using your paradigm, manifesto. I want to be representative, majority, Were and in there. Before the Hellenic but using your wrong, you don't want to answer. She doesn't want to answer. No. Were they there before Cleo, the Hellenic Republic? Have you heard of Persia? No, Renault. Renault. Yes, of course. They've got a they've got um, a car called the Clio. I, I know. I suggest you jump in it, put it on, 
and drive off because you're not answering my question. Just vacate the situation. <laughs> listen, listen. Let me talk to you Go about ahead. this. This Go is consistency. Ahead. This is exact consistency. Go because ahead. you try to say that I am being inconsistent in this argument. But what the argument is, that is that I subscribe to conservative laws, yes. a, a, a democratic framework, a democratic police. But those monks and any kind of religious uh, kind of complaint has the right to be there if it's been there before the democratic framework came into place. That is what I'm saying. Who chose so, that? I'll tell you. So going back. Who chose that? What do you mean who chose who that? Who gave them the, the, the allowance to continue? They took it, they took it themselves. Who no, gave them the no, allowance no. to continue? The government allow them to continue. But it is its own region. It's the, in, in its own right. But the government allow them to continue in the way they are now. It was an allowance. No, this is the one. It was a dispensation given by the government. They didn't say, sorry, Greek government. They don't have the right to do that. They but it was the government giving them... Do you see, by the way, do you see how this links to... We are do you busy. see how this links to Israel and Palestine? Oh, don't, please don't. don't, don't go. Do you see how this links to Israel and Palestine? Cleo, yes. don't go there. Why not? Because... That's more complex, and 30,000, 35, 38,000 people have died. And I stand with the Palestinians, I do. That is what and I'm I, saying. I don't want to personally go there. Personally, I don't want to go okay, there. we're not going to go there, but what I'm trying to but, say to you is that any ahead. religious conclave has the right to be there. I'm not, I'm not going to do I, that did I say they don't have a right to be there? You're putting words, arguments and words in my mouth. I didn't say that. What I'm you're saying... You're assuming... No! Under I, a I never, I never said that! We should take that away from you. No, I never said that as well! You're killing me, softly. Softly, I'm, you're I'm killing me. I'm cornering you. Your That's speaker's cornering me. All right, now, what I'm saying is... Again, and we'll end on this. That enclave, there was a time when they didn't exist, and they came into existence. Right, they were there, ancient. Granted, whatever it is, they were ancient. Then you had the nation state of Greece. Yes. When they gained their independence from the Ottoman Empire, yes. and it was created, yes. the Greek government, probably through the parliament, Republic. the Hellenic Republic, thank you, maybe through parliament, maybe an edict through the king at the time, because there was a monarchy early days, so or through the president or the prime minister, whatever mechanism, the, the executive, or the legislative body, or whoever it was, granted those monks on that mount permission to continue the way they continued yes, prior. To continue the way they did. Okay. Yes. So they were given permission to do so. Yes. Yes. I, through your system, want to be your representative. Here's my manifesto. We're going to have an enclave in Bromford. And Has it already existed? Is it pre-existing? <laughs> That's where you're, you are being inconsistent there. Because if you want to relate this argument to I, the one... I understand your point. Athos, I understand your yes. point. But let me ask you this question then. If the government, whoever it was, if the government told those monks on that mount, in that monastery, we don't give you permission, disband. Disband. They would have disbanded. They would have disbanded. Okay. Yeah. So the point is not whether they were there, when or whatever, it's whether the government gave them permission. That's what it comes down to. But that's what it comes down to, whether they give them permission or not. The buck lies with the government. Am I right or wrong? It does. It does. Okay, so they'll be consistent. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me you just said it. Right. Okay, I'm going to end the conversation. Because I believe, you know what I'm getting at? And it comes down to the government. But like I said. But are they pre-existing? It doesn't matter because it comes down to the government. Whether they give, whether they give permission, pre-existing or non-pre-existing, whether they give permission or not. Okay, thank you for this conversation. Thank you. We'll talk again. You're welcome. Don't forget a copy. We have so many at home. Okay, alhamdulillah. We for an argument. We have many at home. Okay, salamu alaikum. So, uh, that was an interesting conversation. Um, I've lost count of, I think, I think she, this, she knew where I was going.
in that last argument it comes down to the government giving permission what she couldn't bring herself to, to say is that using her methodology if a representative within his or her manifesto said amongst other uh, political policies that we will have an Islamic not saying I'm propagating it just a theoretical discussion that we will have an Islamic enclave in Romford Essex that, the, that <laughs> it's not the same as the orthodox uh, ministry and enclave given precedence to exist in Greece and again this is all uh, theoretical um, and as Muslims as I said we're more than capable of living in this country the United Kingdom being um, citizens participating in society fully um, and it's as simple as that assalamu alaikum Oh, 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 o